Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm just making sure everything is good. I'm getting a lot of uh, questions about how to uh, install skins on the vehicles, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on that. Um, one of the biggest things that I want to remind you is take your time, man. Take your time. Everything's going to work out. Um, sometimes you're going to make mistakes. Some things are not going to go as according to plan. But like I said, just take your time. Try not to get too frustrated. With that being said, let's get started. Today we are going to be using the Wake Forest uh, Police Department textures. The reason why I'm using this texture is because I wanted to put this inside of my game anyway. So I was like, hey, why not use this as a tutorial? So with that being said, what we're going to try to do is, is uh, we're going to read everything. Obviously, guys, make sure you read it. Um, most of the time, most modders will have the vehicles that their skins go to on their page. In this case, this is for the LSPDF, LSPD pack for Captain 14. But when I actually do my tutorial, everything that you see me doing this tutorial, it'll work for everything. Make sure you read this, follow it word for word, but I'm also going to go through it myself and just show you guys just a little bit of pointers and tips and anything else. There's a, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys, got a little cold right, right there. Anyway, um, let's get started. So first thing you're going to do when you get to this page right here uh, where you have your vehicle textures and it's going to be under vehicle textures. Models are the actual cars. Textures are the skins. You guys should know what strips are, scripts and plugins. You know, that's where your call outs and stuff go. Characters are your pets, audio. Y'all, obviously that's self-explanatory. Your visuals, you know, that's going to be your light settings and miscellaneous. It's going to be whatever you deem fine or whatever. Anyway, um, this skin pack was made by Trofix. Um, big shout out to him because I definitely love the Wake Forest skin, possibly because I live near Wake Forest. So, anyway, you're going to download the file on this page. Uh, you're going to click this, say I'm not a robot. Then you're going to hit download. Once you hit download, all right, once you hit download, uh, you see where it says if your download doesn't start, click here. So we're going to wait to see if my, okay, mine started. And then after that, I hit cancel, guys, because I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to download it twice, but anyway. If you guys get a chance, check out Doug's page. He has the North Carol, uh, he makes some great skins. So if you get a chance, go ahead and check him out. But uh, with that being said, you have your pack. It's downloaded. Once you have it downloaded, it should look like, let me find it again. Miami pack. Yeah, you got to give me a chance. I just downloaded, so I gotta go back and find it again. Wake Forest. Yo, that's crazy. I can't even find it. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, give me one second. All right, here we go. So, here's your textures right here. Um, if you don't have this program, you probably need to get it. There's a bunch of Google ways to get it, so... I probably won't do a tutorial on that, but it's a bunch of ways to get this program. Um, it's just called WinRaw. WinRaw right here. These are all your textures right here for your Impala, whatever it is that you want to do. Make sure that that texture matches the vehicle that they're using because if not, like there's like three different templates out there for CVPIs. So if you try to put a CVPI template on one that doesn't match, it's going to look all funny. All right. Once you have your texture... You're going to go to, I'm going to close this out right quick. Don't pay no attention to this. Yes, we're going to save it. Don't pay no attention to this. I didn't start over from the top so I can show you guys what's going on. All right. So once you have Open IV, this is called Open IV Started. Matter of fact, I'll go all the way out and show you guys. Open IV. Once you start it, you're going to go to Windows, your Windows version. All right, next thing you know, you're gonna go, make sure the first thing you do when you come here is hit edit mode. It's gonna say while in edit mode, all changes will automatically be saved. Cool? All right, cool. So, with that being said, you're gonna make sure you create a mods folder. Always do this. Um, it's gonna show up purple. You're gonna have to go to your root GTA fact. I'll show you mine, G GTA directory. That's what this is called, your root GTA directory. You know, type in new folder. It's going to pop up and then you make sure you title it mods. 
Try not to do anything in your regular folder if you can, because that's going to hurt you in the long run whenever you decide to redo things. Anyway, we're going back to this. We're going to go to mods, okay? We're going to go to update. Update. Uh, we're going to go to 64. We're going to go to DLC packs. And mine is going to be in the LSP pack. Whatever you st install your vehicles at, whether it be day patch 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, that's where you're going to go. But mine is going to be in the LSPD pack. I downloaded Captain 14 LSPD pack. All right, after you hit LSPD, you're going to hit DLC, 64, levels, GTA 5, vehicles, LSPD pack. All right, the one I'm going to be installing is going to be in my police 2. We're going to go to the YTD file to install the skin. But we're going to look at the YTF file so we can see what the vehicle looks. This is what the vehicle looks like in game for me right now. You guys see this? This is 2015 Charger. This is like, you know, you can see what it looks like. I'm going to show you a good little whatever. All right, now I'm going to close this. That's the YTF file. Then we're going to go to the, I wonder what the YTF. All right, the YTF high T is the same thing. So like I said, that's the YTF file. is going to show you what the car is going to look like in game. I'm going to go to y Police 2 YTD. Police 2 YTD. You guys see it up here? All right, I'm going to come all the way down to where I see the skin. I'm going to make this big so you guys can see it. I'm going to come all the way down till I find the police skin. And you'll know the police skin when you get to it because it's usually going to say police. Most of the time for your charges, it's going to be right here. Can you guys see to the right where my mouse is? Follow my mouse. Boom. Charges, sign, skin. All right, you see where it said that? That's the skin I currently have on the car. This is Doug's police skin. All right, you guys see this? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to go to Charger, right? Now let's say, for Pete's sake, let's say that uh, someone didn't name it the right thing. So let's say you went to, you found your skin. This is the skin I'm going to put on here. But when you get it, the skin you want is going to be named like this. Um, this skin Charger. Let's say that that's how the modder created the skin to come to you. So obviously, what you see here, where it says CHGR hat uh, underscore sign underscore one, is not the same as what's in here, right? All you're going to do is rename it. That's it. You're going to rename it so it matches what you're about to replace. So mine will be CHGR underscore sign underscore one. And guys, I'm not trying to be funny with you when I talk like this. I'm not trying to belittle anybody or try to seem like they're not intelligent. But I don't learn that fast. That's why I talk to people so I will want to be talked to so I could learn something. I'm not computer savvy. I don't know a lot about computers. So that's why I was like, if I teach you something, I want to make sure that I hit every point. And if I don't hit something, leave it down in the comment section below. And, you know, I'll go from there. But with that being said... You see how now that matches what I'm about to put in? CHGR underscore sign underscore one. CHGR underscore sign underscore one. All right, cool. No problem, man. Check this out. Next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to drag this from here all the way to just anywhere on the desktop. I mean, anywhere on this screen. Open IV. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. It's going to say choose import options. Don't touch anything. Leave it on automatic. Hit OK. Watch this. Now you see how that's the new skin that I have in there? This is the Wake Forest Police skin. You got that, right? Cool. Now what we're going to do is save it. Make sure you save it so it shows up in game. All right. If it ever does save, it's going to take a while. Boom. There we go. Let's go back to the YTF file and see what the vehicle looks like now. All right. You see how I changed it? See how it's got a different skin on it? All right. You guys see that? Cool. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get in game. We're going to get in game. Hold on, buddy. I'm on the way. I'm coming. We're going to get in game and see if we can't see um, where it's been changed yet. So let's come out of here. I'm going to go ahead and load up my 
LSPDFR. All right. So hopefully it loads up, guys. Sometimes I've been having problems with crashes. Again, with the crashes, man, and the errors, you know, it just happens. The only thing I can tell you guys, take your time. When I put a mod in, I put one in at a time. I play the game for like 10 minutes, see if it crashes. But I try to crash the game. I try to call in as many backups as I can. I try to overhaul it with call out just to see if it will crash. Because if it doesn't crash, then I know that I have a stable game. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, that's with anything. But like I said, uh, if you guys enjoy this tutorial, man, hit that like button. If you want to see more of these, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I guess I'll start to get into it. I was never really big in tutorials because I watched other people to get my game loaded. So I didn't think I needed one. But hey, if you guys want me to make a tutorial video, I will. So let's see if we're lucky enough to see if my game will start this time. But I think I know what's making my game crash. But I can't quite put my finger on it at, at this point in time. But like I said, let's see if it crashes. For some reason, it always crashes on the first go round. But hopefully we'll get it back together and it won't crash as much next time. So let's see, populating game world. All right, we'll see in a second because usually it starts crashing right about now. map clean up it's loading all my plugins i guess you guys get to see what plugins i got in i got the map object cleanup eup keep the door open lspdfr uh more control cyber mastery spotlight traffic control boom i don't know i think we might have it guys let's see come on come on sometime today i don't know i think it might crash guys and, and again, if it does crash, it lets you know that my game crashes as well, guys. It's not like, you know, what you see is what you get, you know. It's... By the time I've been got to beat it. I was at the movies. I must have thrown out my ticket. You are really pathetic, Michael. Pathetic. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was weird. Guess we walked in on domestic dispute just now. Yep, as you guys can see, it's raining. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to head out here to the street. I am going to use my F3 trainer. And I am going to find this vehicle. I'm going to go to vehicle spawning. Emergency. It's in police too. And look at there. See there? Now we currently have this vehicle in game. Y'all like that? Cool, cool. With that being said, guys, that's going to be the end of my tutorial today. I'm trying to keep all the videos short and sweet so I can keep everybody's attention. You guys now know how to install a, vi a uh, skin inside of GTA 5. Until next time, guys, I will see you guys later.